partners in the cemetery They done seen enough, bought all them cars and got them tinted early He the Bentley with a Audemars and we ain't living dirty It's crazy, this my dream and now I'm living it They see what I done did with it Screaming at my penmanship, it seems like I ain't in it I kick my feet up on the jet and I just reminisce I remember we was in the jet, same thing I live like this But I did buy the rollie, I'm ahead of my time Know that I'm ahead of my time You can take these diamonds on my neck And I keep it on my shine, baby Cause the ghost I'm going and I'm flowing on the PJ I've been torn, I ain't been asleep in three days Live like when you are, when you going, you can't replay I'm in the phone and it's roaring, trying to speed right Gang, if you let you fly, ain't bad if you gotta ride. Big guns and a lot of zip ties. Does she look like me? Quit lying. We gon' spin and kill. Hey everybody, happy new year. I wanted to show you guys this. Look who saw the page and shouted it out on her story. I didn't know another way I can bring it up, but I wanted to show y'all that Flage saw the page. She put it on her Instagram story. I thought that was super dope. I took mad screenshots and I wanted to show y'all that Flage saw the channel. And I was like, Lit. <laughs> we was playing her music. Y'all know that we always do. Happy New Year to you guys as well. And we're going to be starting to stream soon. One more thing I wanted to bring up. I'm super excited too, y'all. I wasn't even ready. I have the game pulled up, but nothing else. But I wanted to show y'all that Flage saw the channel, y'all. Period. I was like, okay. Fire. Happy New Year's, everybody. I know, and I love Flage so much. Like, I love her music, and I'm happy that she got to perform with Rod Wave and Tusi. They were the other um, people there, and I was like, that's good for her music. I feel like that audience is going to love her, her audience as well. One more thing I want to play, and then the game does start at 8. Okay, let me play the. Got to be just a little bit harder and a little bit more aggressive. The first part of our season's over. 
for three. Bang! So we need to evaluate what we think we did in the first part of our season, and then we need to flush it. The bucket, Johnson's going to take it herself and lay it in and draw a foul. Reese in the lane, catches, nice double clutch move around her man. Oh, Mara just having herself a night and enjoying every minute of it. Again, layup is good. She's got 42. It's the second time Poe has dumped it high to one of the post players and they were able to score. She's headed to the bucket. Nice. nice. Layup is good by Kent from three-point land. And this is what happened. And now you go into what is the most important part, and that is SEC play. We've got to take it up a notch now. We here now. Everything- SEC play starts today. We are here now. Who FSU and NC going over overtime? Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I was just watching the South Carolina game. Let us see what's going on. I heard NC State was like really good. Let me see. I got to bring up this real quick. Tucker. Tough angle. Here's Watson with nine. Finds Timpson. Michaela spins. Nice look inside. 13 for Timpson. Timpson did a good job staying patient there. She's so long and lanky. That release, it's hard to, you know, disrupt her shot. It's Two rebounds shy of a double double for Timpson. James deeks out her defender. Good adjustment by Gordon. Behind the pack, James slips, keeps her dribble, and a block by Timpson. Oh, it's the human car wash down low. The shot blocking queen of the ACC. Isaiah James with the theatrics here. Good back door. Timpson said, no, no, no. That is the Harlem Globetrotter dribble. She keeps yeah. her dribble on her knees. And play continues for NC State. Clock to two. James answers the bell for three. Great move, Isaiah James. Great move. Hey, the sniper's coming out now. The sniper's coming out. Two threes in overtime for NC State. Gordon the pass. Great find. Timpson strips. Here's Rivers. Backs it out. And that's a, that's a smart play by Rivers. You know, it's a two-on-two, but you have the lead in overtime. Go ahead and slow it back down and get everyone in the offense. Brooks operates traffic. Rivers with seven. Samaya off the screen, doubled. Hayes, tough three. It's tipped. Rebound, Timpson. Club this club up, this this club up, 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 this club up,
high heels on my tippies. Do say in Gabbana, that's on my tippies. Cop me vitamins when I write the tippie. I still got the juice by a sippy. I will never slippy like a Mickey. Stay in your Tory lane. I'm not Iggy. I know that the is trying to bang like Chitty. I. Well, it seems like Coach is going with her starting five. We got Van Liff, we got Angel Reese, Flage Johnson, Anissa Morrow, and Michaela Williams as our starting five. I thought this was the starting five that she was going to go with. Um, there were some thoughts about if Poa would be put in for Van Liff, especially because of Poa's defensive abilities. But I think it's best she goes ahead and start with her five, the five. Um, that has been our starting five all year and see how it goes. I loved how we started last week or our last game. Solid five. Exactly. They solid. They simply just solid. And if Moro and Williams all start off hot, baby, I believe in this team. I believe in Anissa Moro. I believe in Williams, Johnson, Reese, Van Liff, Del Rosario, Velez. I believe in this team's talent and ability. And I think they proved throughout their um, – what's going on? Share this tab. We live. I think they proved throughout non-conference that they're resilient. They went through a lot of different things. And I don't know why they picked that picture of Angel Reese. Like, don't do my girl. All the pictures. You're taking the jacket off. You need to wear it all game long. Because it's Here we go, guys. Oh, yeah. Dressed like Monkey Night. So people are going to be dressing like The Madam Butterfly jacket has been removed. And the mascot can now have it back. We are ready for the start of the SEC season for LSU and Mizzou. The opening tip controlled by the LSU Tigers. And they'll go to work on offense. And they pick apart the Missouri defense on the first possession. Frank gets fouled in the backcourt by an aggressive Morrow. You take a look at the starting five for Mizzou. They are down two starters due to injury. They have two freshmen in the starting five, including Grace Slaughter and Hannah Linthicum. Mama Dembele is at the point. Ashton Judd is number two in scoring. And we mentioned Haley Frank. Ball ready for LSU. You're seeing the player to player defense. A quick foul for Anissa Morrow. That is something to keep your eye on because of matchup issues against this Missouri face up offense. One and done on that end, and here comes Van Lith the other way. Morrow scored the first basket. She picked up the game's first foul. Williams back to Van Lith. Starting five for LSU. Flaugé Johnson had 20 points in her last game. Angel Reese had 20 rebounds in LSU's last game. She gets her first points of the game, and it's an early 4-0 lead for LSU. Gabelli to Frank. Morrow has to lean back after picking that early foul up, and Frank sticks with it for Mizzou's first two. Well, for Mizzou, you're going to see them fall back into a 3-2 matchup zone on any kind of make or dead ball. If it's a miss, they're going to fall back into player to player. LSU worked a lot against the matchup zone, looking to overload and get the matchup they want down in the paint. Reese off balance, can't get it to go. Morrow hits the deck hard. She's slow to get up, and here comes Dembele. They will run, and they are a good three-point shooting team, and Judd answers with the three. Mizzou making, on average, nine threes a game on the season. Judd having an outstanding sophomore year after an all-freshman season in the SEC a year ago. Williams, great three-point shooter, not this time. And a rebound for Ashton Judd. So important in this game for Mizzou to limit LSU to one shot. And Robin Pinson told us, we want to run. They want to take the first good look if it's there, if not. They'll set up the half-court offense. Linthicum with the travel and the turnover. I was kind of hoping that on Dress Like Kim Mulkey night, Kim would throw a curveball to everybody and come out with a conservative <laughs> look tonight, but I think we know better. Johnson, 20 points her last game. Gets her first two of this game. 
or what did Kim Mulkey say today? She wants her players to be aggressive. She wants them to get excited when her team faces a zone and attack them and create scoring opportunities. And that's what Flaje Johnson just did. Frank trying to find Judd. LSU turning teams over on average 24 times a game. And that's going to be a very important number to watch for Robin Pinchton here tonight. Well, and Robin Pinchton talked about it. She said, we got to keep them off the free throw line. But she said it's remarkable that they're getting almost 50% of their points from the paint. She said it's also remarkable that almost 50% of their total points is coming on second chance opportunities and off of the opponent's turnovers. Morrow with the bucket. She's got four. And LSU on top by three. Cabelli will settle things down, having an excellent season so far, the senior from Spain. And you see Mizzou in that five-out motion offense looking to exploit matchups and mismatches for Haley Frank from three. <laughs> A career 42% three-point shooter. She's at 38 so far this season. Rattles that in to tie it at eight. Morrow, Frank, looked for the call, didn't get it. Haley Frank is someone who will hit the deck, and Robin Pinchton was looking for the call, but the officials did not give it. Morrow off to a good start. I just think Anissa Morrow is such the X factor for LSU this season. Her ability to not only defend great post players, as you're seeing a legal screen by Mizzou for another turnover, but Anissa Morrow's ability to face up. You see, undersized post, she can put it on the floor and beats Frank to that spot. And then Frank answers on the other end, coming off the down screen, gets the feet set to knock down that three. Williams. That won't drop. Linthicum with the rebound. Here's Dembele. Dembele with the bounce, a little too late on it. Flage Johnson there on the steal, and here comes LSU in transition. Johnson to the basket with the finger roll for two. Averaging 19 points a game over the last two games, coming on offensively for the Tigers. Frank Morrow extends the defense. Shot clock down to six. Grace Slaughter, three-point shot has been key for Mizzou so far. The freshman knocking down the three, averaging 11 points a game. She has started each game here in her first season for Mizzou, playing without Avery Kroenke, who would be in the starting five. She's out with an injury. And Angie Galatolandi, who's been out with an injury. Eric, there's hot from three, and then there's Mizzou right now. Three of three from long range already in this game. This time, Slaughter getting in on the action. Substitution for Mizzou, grad student Abby Fight, who transferred in from Evansville, where she played the last four seasons, is on. Linthicum to the bench. I asked Robin Pinchton earlier today, I said, of all your bigs, who has to play well for you? And she said, Abby Fight. She goes, she needs to be able to come in and knock down some of those threes for us to extend the defense. The foul was on Linthicum, her first. Van Lift can't hit. The point guard, Dembele, in the backcourt can't hang on to it. And it's a turnover. That's already turnover number five for Robin Pinchton's team, but a little bit of a smile there. Her team hanging in there in the opening minutes here at the home of the defending national champions at the PMAC. It begins with the...
EC. Well, the calendar has flipped to 2024, but the memories from 2023 are still vivid for LSU. This is an LSU team absolutely on fire. An absurd display from D. Hanks. The Reese has come to play. Trying to take LSU to the finish line. Bull goes for the dagger. You bet. Kim Mulkey knows the celebration is imminent. LSU has captured its very first national championship. A turnaround for the ages. That final win was win number 34 on the season for Kim Mulkey's LSU Tigers in just her second year here in Baton Rouge, her fourth national title overall after her three wins at Baylor. They were the preseason number one, but losing to that very good Colorado team. We know what's happened. You talked about it right at the top of the telecast because they have not had a full roster all season long. They won't because Samaya Smith is out for the season with an injury. This is a team that has still got some things to be answered here when we asked Kim Mulkey about that I said well you know what are you looking for she's like I'm with you yeah. I've told the team the same thing I'm curious to see what we're going to do in SEC competition and what wasn't on that graphic was Haley Van Lith also missing four games this is just her second game back so this is a team that's still looking to develop chemistry on both ends of the floor Morrow been outstanding so far in her first season at LSU. Eight straight double-doubles entering tonight. She's got eight first-quarter points. Perfect from the field. Another turnover. That's number six for Mizzou. Johnson, good finish. And that is where I think Flaugier Johnson is at her best, in transition. She's so smooth. She creates so well. But the key for Mizzou is as good as this offense is for LSU, they have to make them score in the half court. That three won't drop. 12 points off of those Missouri turnovers so far for LSU. Reese in deep, spins inside for two. And that's what LSU wants to do. They want to get Frank in the paint and go at her one-on-one -on -one and try to get her out of this game due to foul trouble. You're keeping your eyes on paint points. 14 of the 18 points for LSU so far in the paint. And this is an LSU ball club that averages 50 paint points a game. Oh, Mama to the basket for two. What has impressed you about Mama's game here in her season, senior season. She's shooting the ball extremely well. Field goal percentage, three-point field goal percentage. Her rebounds are up. Her assists are up. Her skills are up. She is playing at such a great pace. She is definitely the stir of the straw that stirs the drink for the Mizzou Tigers. Frank defended on the outside by Reese, who's not afraid to take the defense to the three-point line. Kim Mulkey's saying, I have so much confidence in both Morrow and Reese to defend Mizzou out of the three-point line. On the back cut, Judd on the reverse, can't get it, and the rebound for Morrow. Van Lift missed four with plantar fasciitis. And on the post up, the foul's called on Haley Frank. It's her first. Angel Reese gets two feet, shoulders squared in transition, one-on-one. -on -one, and she's got the whole paint to work. And this is where Mamba is so good. That crossover so quick gets her downhill and able to score. Judd will check out of the game. Abby Shrek, freshman. We expect to see four freshmen playing for Mizzou here today. Johnson open three. Michaela Williams with the rebound. Mizzou's been hanging in there on the glass here in the first quarter. Johnson on the drive, second chance opportunity, and Flage makes the most of it. Tough shot. The freshman follows it up. Shrek, her first points in SEC play. I like the attacking na nature of Shrek there. Morrow not wanting the foul, just lets her go. And even on the offensive rebound that Shrek gets, she doesn't want to foul. Open look, Williams, outstanding three-point shooter, not this time. Mama has it knocked away by Johnson. They will stick with Missouri. 
Good start for Flage Johnson. Four of five from the field. Eight points. She's just so smooth off the bounce. I mean, the hang time, the ability to extend, the ability, the ability to elevate. I think this is a matchup issue for Mizzou tonight in transition and when Flage creates off the bounce. Shrek to Frank. That's off the side of the backboard. I think it was touched by Reese, who will get credit for the block. He'll stick with Mizzou, 11 to shoot. This is an area that I think Mizzou needs to be able to steal some points. Out of bounds executions. Can they get some easy scoring opportunities? Frank trying to back in on Reese. Reese standing her ground. Tough shot, wouldn't drop. And lift, entry, Reese, no, Reese, no, Reese, Morrow rather couldn't grab it. And here comes the belly. Missouri with the push, Slaughter with the nice finish. And a player is down for Missouri. Haley Frank is down, face down on the court here at PMAC. Robin Pinchton, first one out there. Don't know if it's a cut chin or a cut lip, but it looks like going to be some work here. The contact above the three-point line in tra transition after May Vasquez is under review. That's the voice of Polani Spurlock Welsh. The official who will go to the monitor working with Teresa Stuck and Nakisha Thompson here tonight. Let's take a look as they get ready to look. We're looking at Haley Frank just outside the three-point line. Now that's just incidental contact right there. Reese was just standing her ground. Definitely incidental. Doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. I mean, she took a shot there. The contact the, is deemed incidental. Player will resume with LSU ball out of bounds. Very quick review, and rightly so. <laughs> Haley Frank, fifth-year grad student, native of Missouri, second-team All-SEC. Last season and the season before, fixture in the lineup for Missouri. We've watched enough of her through the years that this will be a very quick cut woman job in the corner there to get Haley Frank back onto the court. I mean, I think every basketball fan is just relieved to see her get up and run off the floor. Three-point lead for LSU. Williams, Van Lift turned it over. Abby Fight was in the passing lane. Dembele with the push. Dembele to the hoop. Offensive count it. And the foul. Original guess was perhaps offensive, but they're going to count it. I don't even know if Mama is sure that. Yeah, yeah, that's a three-point play for you. A chance for it here, Mama. Mama is so good in transition. And once she gets into the paint, you see her just going. And I like the call because I think she was airborne before Haley Van List slid in there. And I know we're starting conference play. And... Maybe some of you are coming down from football season and the fall season. The restricted arc does not exist in women's basketball. So it's on the court. It's there for the men. They don't take it away for the women's games. But with Van Lith in there, just ignore that. It is an invisible line for women's hoops starting here in the 2023-2024 season. There is an imaginary line under the cylinder, but that's another story for another time. I don't want to get too confused here. I mean, I'm still a lot of imaginary. I'm still a little woozy after looking at your jacket at the start of the show. I have that effect on people. <laughs> That's going to be a foul on Williams with 33 seconds to go in a one-point game here in the first quarter. When Kim Mulkey even said yesterday to the media, she was interested to see how Michaela Williams transitioned to SEC play and. I don't have any questions about Michaela Williams' offense. It's the defense that now I'm wondering, now that SEC play has come, how is she going to be able to defend against teams that have her scouted? Last year, Poa on for LSU. And Hilke Fedrape is on for Missouri, another freshman. Three-pointer, won't drop. 
Angel Reese comes away with it. And Olympicum back into the game. Shot clock is off. Game clock down to 10. Williams with five. Lost the handle. Threw it away. Here comes Mama with Williams back, but doesn't get a shot off in time. And that is the end of the first quarter. But Mizzou certainly hanging tough in this tough environment. Full house, a loud crowd here at the PMAC. But it's just a one-point game at the end of the first quarter. I want to take a look at some of this attire when we come back. Can we do that? I think we're good. right there top three they're going to bring them on the court i guess the fans are going to decide the boa is always a nice accessory yes good look there's your butterflies and then the winner that, that could be a top three the winner <laughs> hello kim's talk cousin the winner is going to get one of kim's jackets i don't know if kim knows that but which jacket well I, that's a good question well, well is it the one that Kim's wearing here tonight, or is it something from her past collection? I mean, are we going from last year? I, I still love the butterfly one, obviously, as Mike <laughs> loaned that to me. All right, so we will uh, keep track of the competition and let you know after halftime the winner. And maybe Kim will come out and present the winning jacket before the start of the second half. I think a lot of that will depend on how well her team plays in the second quarter. They're up by one as we start that second quarter. Haley Frank back into the game, wasting no time, launching a three and draining a three. Four three pointers for Mizzou in seven attempts so far. Well, and that was great execution out of the timeout for Mizzou, setting those double down screens on the weak side for Frank to come around and get that look. Key for LSU against this matchup zone. The ball can't stick. They need to move it quickly, and then, especially on reversals, they can go inside. Frank staying straight up, not trying to pick up a second foul. Tough shot from Morrow. The rebound, the fights. Mizzou with their first lead since the opening minutes of the game. They fell behind by seven. Bit of a three-point heat check for the Tigers right there from heavy fight. It'll be LSU basketball. And here's the Frank three from the previous trip. Well, this is just great team execution. You see not one, not two, but three down screens for Frank to come around and get that look and get it off. She was pumped. She turned around when that came out of her hand and she saw it go down and gave a big yell to this big crowd here at the PMAC. That one rolls in for Morrow. 
We're going back to Frank. Frank struggled in the game against LSU last year. Only three points and constant foul trouble. you got to believe in her fifth year she has something to prove against the LSU Tigers. Mama getting after it and getting the steal. Poa back on defense. DeBelle finds the trailer. Fights. Who gets it? Count it. And one. Mama, four points, three rebounds, two assists. This is what a point guard does on the road. She's setting her teammates up off the steal. No, she doesn't have the layup. Pulls it out, waits for fight on the weak side, sets her up for the score. Mama averaging six and a half assists a game through non-conference play. That's tops in the SEC. And here is Abby Fights. He finishes up the three-point play. Mizzou, the number one free throw shooting team by percentage in the SEC at 76%. So the first time in the game, Mizzou extends that pressure. LSU worked on it and slices and dices it up for two. It's another interesting point. No team gets to the line more than LSU, and LSU has yet to attempt a free throw, Reese, with the bucket. Well, I think some of it is the zone that Mizzou is running. It's also Mizzou's been doing a great job of trying to keep LSU off the offensive glass. Another turnover. That's number seven for Mizzou. Kim Mulkey worked a lot with her team in shoot around today. They drew the double team, looked weak side, and then you see Flage just take it off the bounce, pull two players, and set Reese up for the easy two. Fight with the rebound. Here comes Mama. She's got great speed all the way to the basket. No. Judd knocked it out of play. LSU ball. Well, Jay needs a moment. Substitution for Mizzou. Grace Slaughter coming back into the game as Fedrape will. She'll stay on the court, actually. It looks like Fight's checking out. And here comes Shrek on, and now the drop will check out. Lauge seems to be okay. Not 100% maybe, but ready to play. Well, one thing for teams who are fans who may not have watched Mizzou yet this year, this is a team that's playing with a greater pace this season. They are pushing tempo. They are shooting more threes. They're getting more scoring opportunities. And Robin Pinson said that was by design, and you're seeing that already in this game. They're not afraid to push tempo against this LSU defense. Foul's going to be called on Missouri's Abby Shrek battling for position underneath. Bit of a welcome to the SEC moment for the freshman from Quincy, Illinois. Off to a good start in her Missouri career. Double figures five times already. Mama read it all the way, came away with it, and finishes. She has been a good player for Mizzou throughout her career. It just feels like she's taking a big step this year. What? We asked Robin Pinchman about that. She said it's the maturity, it's the comfortability. Was in Columbia this offseason, and she says her confidence is sky high from her ability just to work with her team throughout the offseason. Mizzou up by three. LSU has yet to hit a three-pointer. Mama! And that's going to be an offensive foul on the senior point guard from Spain. Take you back to happier times for Dembele. Mama Dembele leads Mizzou Tigers in steals. And there you see she knows he had a bounce play. She sets it up, gets the steal, and the score for Mizzou. Moment of consternation here at the PMAC because the announcement was the foul was on LSU, but it was clearly signaled a foul on Missouri. The blood pressure escalated there for a moment. Now it's coming back down a bit. It's LSU basketball. It's Missouri lead. Well, that was last year, Poe's 18th drawn charge on this season. So good at reading angles and taking things away from opponents. Morrow sets the screen for Van Lith. Frank knocked it away. Turnover LSU. Dembele up ahead to the freshman slaughter. What a play by Johnson. Hustling back to the block. Yeah. 
Williams dropped down the reach, counted, and the foul. She won't get an assist, but Flower J. Johnson may have made the best defensive play of the season season so far for an LSU team that's been trying to find their way defensively. Well, I've mentioned how good Flage is in transition. I was referring to offense, but there's the defense. Huge block that stops the easy two from Rizzo. Then that allows LSU to get out and run. They got numbers, and Reese gets two feet in the paint like that. She's going to finish. Huge turnarounds. Looked like it was going to be an easy layup for Mizzou. Instead, it's a chance for a three-point play. And Reese converts. First free throw attempt for LSU, and that is so out of character when you look at these two teams. Missouri is number one in free throw percentage, but they just don't make a lot at the free throw line, whereas LSU was at the free throw line for 52 attempts in their last game. Crowd getting loud here in the second quarter. America at last foul on Haley Frank, her second of the game. Robin Pinson decided to keep her in here. There's a block by Van Lick. Five to shoot for Mizzou. The chance is LSU. Four on the shot clock. Frank heaved it up. Here's Van Lift. All the momentum right now with LSU. Van Lift gets it to go. ISO play for Frank there. Great defense by LSU. Frank for three. Much needed and quiets the crowd here at the PMAC. <laughs> 11 points for Frank. Three of six from outside the three point line. Williams off the mark so far. 0 for 4 from the field. Slaughter knocked away from behind by Williams. If the shot's not falling, figure out other ways to contribute. And LSU's playing some pretty good defense. They need it because Missouri has been on target so far. Well, the last play for Mizzou was for Frank to be able to go one-on-one. -on -one. LSU defends it, so Frank just pops out off a flare screen. Another three for Mizzou to get them the lead. Fan. 
melted it's kinda like my little. biggest question is why doesn't eric freed have on a jacket just christy just give him that jacket that eric. you had earlier it looked good Right, and right, that right. was okay. my response okay. as well. And I here goes Eric I putting have on no the jacket. I no idea if I, I can be, you know, put on camera here, but I'm going to do it just for you ladies in the studio. Okay. okay. Now, now the question is who wore it best, and I think you win, <laughs> sir. <laughs> there we go. All right. Are you guys happy now? Are you happy? I am. Who wore it best? You did. I defer to you on this one. This is the this is Mike the mascot's jacket. Yes, it is. It does smell like Mike has not taken this to the dry cleaner in quite some time. On behalf of America, I'm not going <laughs> to ask you to describe that smell. All right. Well, we'll get to you all at halftime. I hope you have some uh, skittles ready to go to keep you uh, going. There, I'm going to give this back to Christy. On our game here, we have a game because Missouri's been able to knock down threes. Their top player has been Haley Frank, but she's got two fouls. How does Missouri protect her and manage her minutes here with 4:38 to go? before halftime. I, I thought we might see a little offense defense. Obviously, Mizzou has the ball, so Robin Pinchton leaving her in for the scoring opportunity. Again, Mizzou is in the matchup zone in the half court. I expect LSU to try to go at her and get that third foul. Now, does Mizzou slow things down a little bit? Well, one thing they got to do is take care of the basketball. That's their ninth turnover. Van Lift on the pull-up. Off the mark. Reese kept it alive with a second chance here with Johnson. Johnson, tough shot. She makes tough shots. Counted in one. Eric, we start off this broadcast by saying all five starters for LSU average double digits, and any one of them can have a big night. What's well, Flage Johnson here this evening? Gets the offensive rebound, keeps your dribble alive. Attacks the rim, gets the game one. Johnson into double figures. Ten and holding. Rebound for Olympica. One thing for LSU is we talk about the defending national champions. They don't have a lot of depth. They played just six so far here in the first half. It's been a high energy game. Gambele, beautiful finish and one. I think both these coaches right now are going to talk about dribble penetration at halftime because the guards are making plays. It's that quick crossover again by Mama. Beats Haley Van Lip and what touch. She's going full speed downhill. I can't say enough how difficult that is. The body control and her ability to score at the rim. Great improvement for Mama here this season. That is the second personal foul on Haley Van Lip. So she'll go to the bench with the two. Poa back on for LSU. And this is a lineup for four games. LSU rode with while Haley Van Lith was out, just recovering from an injury. And so they're used to this. But Kim Mulkey said yesterday, I believe, and I've got true seven players who that eighth might be on any night is still to be determined. Reese in a crowd draws the contact, and she'll go to the line for a couple. I think that's now two on Mama Dembele as well. I mentioned before, Avery Kroenke out with an injury. She would be one of those players in the backcourt playing the two, but could also play the one. Reese at the free throw line. Saturday, men's who quadruple header here on the SEC Network, also on the ESPN app, featuring 6 Eastern Time, 5 Central, 22nd rank Ole Miss, 5th rank Tennessee in Knoxville. That's on Saturday. Three and a half to go, first half. Been a good first half. Frank, deep three, not this time. And Johnson's got the rebound. Johnson, little out of control. Now settles it for Poa. Poa's done a very nice job at the point for LSU. And that is off the leg of Johnson. Dembele got the strip. Missouri basketball. I asked Mama today, hey, if you're playing well, how will we know it? She goes, I'll have a smile on my face. After that defensive stand by Mama, you saw a huge smile. Gets the quick hands in there across the body, goes off of Flajay Johnson's leg. Mama's had plenty to smile about, although she is on the floor with the two fouls. Frank on the floor with the two fouls. Heavy fight. A freshman slaughter. Frank. 
Made a fake, made the extra pass. Judd can't get the three. Poe the rebound. Frank back on defense. Again, to your point, does LSU try to attack her here in half court? Well, and now Mizzou is in player to player, so I would love to see them try to get Angel Reese the ball down low. Morrow, soft touch on the turnaround. Of course, when you got Anissa Morrow, who can also score in the post, who cares? Just get it to one of your bigs. <laughs> Six of eight shooting for Morrow. Game in averaging better than 18 points a game. She's got 12. Two minutes to go here on opening night in the SEC between LSU and Mizzou. Slaughter. Tough shot. Morrow was there with the defense to get the block. Four to shoot. Fifth block in the game already for LSU. When you have rim protectors, and we have we've seen guards and post get the blocks of this evening, that allows you to extend your pressure defense, and that's what we're seeing from LSU. The drop a back on for Mizzou. Judd with three. She's got to put something up, and it's going to be a traveling violation turnover for Missouri. That's their tenth. Ellie's got to be a little bit cautious here in the backcourt, playing with the two fouls. Well, that defensive pressure paid off. Poe with the turnover. LSU's been sloppy taking care of the basketball. That's their seventh turnover. The belly will get no credit for that, but it was the on-ball pressure that forced that turnover. 90 seconds to go in the first half. Get you to the studio at halftime to wrap up what's happened so far night one of conference play. Judd, Dembele wide, open three. Second chance here for Missouri on the glass. Back out top. A little bit of a drought here. Frank can't get the three. Knocked out of the hands of Johnson, LSU ball. One thing about this game so far, it has been physical. The number of times you've seen players on the floor going for loose balls, going for rebounds, and the officials have let them play for the most part. The Zoo's been holding their own on the glass as well, Christy. They're a minus two in rebounding margin against the team that is plus 17 in margin on the season. And that is something I was looking at for the Zoo in this game because in their losses this year, they have been getting beat on the glass. They've had some pretty good wins. As you mentioned, it's kind of a different vibe for this Mizzou team, a little bit more up-tempo. They beat Illinois. They beat Belmont. They beat Missouri State. Part of their nine wins in non-conference play. Last time they were in Baton Rouge was two years ago, January of 2022. LSU won in overtime, although things have changed a little bit for LSU in a, in a couple of years' time. That would be the Mulkey effect. <laughs> Here comes Shrek. Last year, LSU won by 20 in Columbia, but it was a four-point game in the third quarter, so Mizzou hanging around again against an LSU team that's in the top 10 right now. Final minute of the first half. Frank does such a great job of reading how the defense plays her. That time there was a switch, so she flared out. They just couldn't take advantage of it. That's another block for LSU. Seven first half blocks for the Tigers. And now it's going to be a foul on the freshman. Pedrape. And more free throws coming for LSU. Robin Pinchon was very aware. We've got to take care of the ball, and we cannot put them on the free throw line. That series, in a nutshell, was what the head coach was afraid of. Yeah, it took a while for LSU to get to the free throw line in this half. Didn't attempt the free throw in the first quarter. Now they have a 91% free throw shooter 
at the line. Hasn't been Michaela Williams' best game so far because she's had already some memorable games in her first year playing in her home state at LSU, including that 42 against Kent State, the highest scoring game for a Tiger in 28 years. At 17 last time out, those are her first two points of the game. Shot clock off, final second, second quarter. Shrek short on the three. Williams has plenty of time, takes a look at the clock, tries a three, and it won't go, and that will be it for the first half. LSU matches their largest lead of the first half on top by seven here at halftime. Well, I think if, if you're Robin Pynchon and Mizzou, you're happy where you are. you got to clean up some of those turnovers. But otherwise, I'm looking forward to the second half. 15-5 run for LSU to close out the first half seven-point game. Let's get you to the studio. What a first half out there in Baton Rouge as we welcome you into the SEC Halftime Report. Steffi Sorensen, Nikki Fargas, Alyssa Lang here with you. Let's talk about what we saw in the first half before we get you caught up on some other games around this first night of conference play. Looking at this Missouri team so far, Steffi, how have they been able to keep this a one-digit game with LSU? We kind of talked, Nikki, before this game was, was could Missouri slow down LSU in transition? Because they do average, I think, uh, 28 points a game and second in the country. Right now, they just have six, mm -hmm. right? So it, pace-wise, I mean, I feel like they've been able to keep pace with uh, offensively with LSU, but but not giving up easy layups. They're, they're, they're not putting them to the free-throw line. Yeah. LSU is the best in the country getting to the free-throw line, and, and so far they are, what? Are seven of eight. Seven of eight, right? So yeah. I think if you're Robin Pinchon, you're down by just seven points defensively. I feel like they're just never an easy out. Like, she schemes really well. I mean, you, you tell me. I mean, you, you guys ran... Uh, such such good defenses in your days as a coach. What has Missouri done really well? Well, they've uh, kept LSU off of the glass. I think their rebounding margin right now is 20 to 22 in LSU's favor. And typically LSU dominates in that area. But the one thing that they're doing that I think is really making LSU have to figure out some things is they're running this 1-2-2 two, two defense. And it's, a lot, it's negating the ball screen action that LSU thrives in. And if you can keep them off the boards, Missouri, if you can take care of the basketball. But Missouri also had wide open looks down the mm. stretch when LSU went on that 8-0 run. You mentioned, both of you commented on some of the physicality that we've seen in this game so far. Is that I'm here some for it. Mark Come on, of, like, Here we are. It's SEC <laughs> Start play. Of conference play. Two physical I think the, teams. Missouri's a physical team. You saw the, the collision between Angel Reese and Haley Frank. The fact that Haley Frank gets right back out there and she's just burying shots. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I, I think this is going to be a physical competitive game. And LSU has struggled with slow starts, yeah. so this is kind of on par for them. Some of the plays that Mama Dembele has made so far from Missouri, along with Haley Frank, uh, we're in for a great second half. Let's get caught up on some of the other actions, starting with the number one team in the land on the road down in Gainesville against the Gators, versus which they've won 15 straight. How about Tahina Pow Pow? Four for four from three-point range in the first quarter. She finished with, finished with 17 points. Pow Pow just came out ready to play. I thought she was just dialed in. When you're coming into the SEC first game of the season, of the year for her, she just really set the tone. But Florida wasn't going away. Second quarter here, it was all about Leilani Correa, Steffi. Yeah, she came off the bench ready for Keller Ray Finley's team. Look, South Carolina put up 32 in that first quarter, but Correa helped them bounce back, put this team on her back like you do every Saturday in college football with your crew. <laughs> I know it from the sideline. Wow, 27 points <laughs> for Correa. That's a career high for her. South Carolina led 48-34. At the break into the fourth now, Gamecocks up big. Raven Johnson here going to beat her defender, get the bucket. She had 16. Raven Johnson has really elevated her game, but that has a lot to do with Don Staley trusting her. South Carolina gets the dub to start conference play. Joni Taylor, welcome back to Athens, competing against, of course, her former team. First time back as the head coach at Texas A&M. Javin Nicholson here with the turnaround. Jay. So pretty. I, I love Javin Nicholson. Since game. Look, she's really the veteran on this Georgia team. Had success last year. We're kind of learning of what is this team capable of. This is a big game in Athens going against Texas A&M. A&M down there, but Aisha Koulibaly with the in the paint jumper. Then India Rogers with the steal and finishes on the other end. This game is really going to go back and forth. And as you know, it's going to be emotional with Joni Taylor going back. But I will say this, the play action late game.
Yeah, I'm not sure how long that's going to be. So I really only cared about LSU. But I also agree. Flage deserves her flowers. Flage is a great player. She started every game her freshman year. Was a part of sending her team to the national championship and winning. And she doesn't get her flowers. Don't play with her. But some other things like. Is LSU the best team or are we not the best team? Because in the same sentence that they say, oh, one digit game against LSU is the same. On the other hand, oh, you guys are ranked number seven for nine weeks. A number seven team ranked in the nation. Shouldn't we be against teams and having tough games and hard games? Which one is it? And then with the defense, I see you guys keep talking about this. We know that our defense hasn't been the best. If you guys listen to any of Coach Malky's uh, post-game interviews or pre-game interviews where she talks about the team's defense, that's always been the area that we've needed to work on. And we've been a second-half team. This is a new team. This is not last year's team. We are the villains. Somebody has to be. I know we're so we're such the bad girls of women's college basketball. It's crazy. I'll put the link in the stream yard. I've seen a lot of people had a, you know, some good comments. Let me go back up to see what everybody was saying. I'm glad we're having good games. I'm glad we're having close games. I'm glad we're getting to it. One thing I believe about this team is that we're very resilient. We're going to find a way to win. Like Coach Mulkey said, against Virginia, if you guys remember the second game in the Caymans Islands Classic, we were supposed to lose that game. And if we lost that game, we would have had every excuse to lose that game because Angel was out, Kateri, everything that was going on with the team. Remember, that's the same game right before that Samaya Smith got injured. And, oh, the cat's out the bag about our bench. We know we don't, like, our bench is not as in-depth as it used to be with, um, you know, no Kateri Pool, Samaya Smith being injured. We haven't been able to play 14 games of everybody all together at once. Exactly. You guys can request what songs you guys want me to download to play. I agree with that too. We just need more time together. We'll be fine. Exactly. 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 Love you guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play it now. <laughs> hey, yo. Bobby dangerous, don't endanger us. You are over, you ain't in range of us. Cause I won one, one, one angel numbers. Dashing some Burberry rain boots. Looking like every designer fake muse. Front row next to the who's who. Trying to build another Bobby doll screws loose. Name my rapper that got channel big pop and push out pop a bit. Hold my mother the year. Every time I rock him out to walk, just make him disappear. But to me, it's just another year. She ain't got the kind of flair. Let me see what I'm aware. They gon' copy, I'm aware, mine clear. Heavy
be on the arch. He was hitting from the back, then he asked us all this my hair. Um, yeah. Bitch, 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 your gang, pop your shit. Face on pretty, stay thick, beef with who she got the right one. All these rap bitches ain't got the like none. Kitty, I'm thick, I got the tape on. Pick one, take it, I got the right one. These rap bitches you like is my sons. Still them on this rap shit when I'm I'm still sitting here, you got a lot to prove. Appreciating my solitude. Beef ain't my go to, but I got bags of this bread if we buying food. And I'm still queening. Chanel bags, they still swinging. Old hits, they still swinging. They let it flow, they still streaming. But it's kill season. You apologize, but it's still treason. Got me steaming like dry cleaning. Move on my time, and I ain't no demon. These words ain't got no meaning. Queen of this rap should be bohemian. They worst nightmare, they still dreaming. Jack and I'm still queen. And I'm still praying. You would too, if you knew how they jealous. Move, verse 22 by 22. They don't know the half till they crashed in two. So cool, I'll be where hook, wait, hook. Broke a couple rap, with hops in two. Now that my chat kind of interview. It's clear to see they wanna be me. Hit the road, E X I T. My flow, they B I T. Shot stone, but I D C. Go home or do a B I G. My stone, they can't S I T. My crown, you can't F I T. I'ma tell you like a nigga told me. Bitch, bitch, your gang, pop your shit. Face on pretty, stay thick. Beef with who she got the right one. All these rap bitches ain't got the like none. Kitty, I'm thick, I got the tight one. Pick one, take and I got the right one. These rap bitches you like is my son. Still I'm on this rap shit when I'm done. Big four, was you scared? They make diamonds up out of pressure. Put a hundred on their head. It's about time they gotta respect us. I really need a ten if I'm signing. Ain't nothing less of my mind. It gotta be special. My grind is just so excessive. Uh, they be talking down, but I don't ever let it get to me. Came to LSU my freshman year and we made history. I was trying to wait and serve the game. They wasn't tipping me. Soundtrack of my life and I'm just conducting the symphony. Balling this ain't winning. Uh, Billy Windows tenant. Uh, working on my image. Uh, up in my percentage. Put the pendant on the trophy. You ain't winning. Don't approach me. Pull up courtside in the crazy fit. I look like Moki. Uh, I just Hit a milli, my bank account looking silly I'm hitting them like the Phillies The coldest flow in the city Like John Morant, I might gritty I've never asked for a penny I'm blocking them like I'm Jenny Ain't no me, man, it's just send me I'm like, get away to hibernate They let the beast outside the cage Ain't try to play They counting me out, I feel some type of way Keep making up stories I'm like, which one they gonna write today Keep switching these fours I'm like, which one I'm gonna like today on God Yeah, biggest fun, yeah, yeah Big is fun, big for flooding. Look. So much money, I can't even sleep Man, I used to pray for days like this It got me feeling weak Poor for and feel the geek I feel just like Scotty P I don't care how rich I get You still ain't getting nothing out of me Know my mama proud of me Living like a prodigy I'm just living honestly Remember I was talking shit to Beeline Like who hot is me All the hoes that passed me up back then Say acknowledge me Walking in the bank, they hold me up And give apologies Ask me why T.S. on the road I said we gotta be Nigga, I been hot since no one knows Casket 20 O's Fuck hit the block, we hit the road fast with 20 bowls Nigga, I was young and dumb Fucking up in school and shit Was acting like a only son I know I When they say she get it 
came from her mama. I'ma say you fuck her right. Body rude is unpolite. Don't be in a humble type. Tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go up tonight. Jose, hope she slept her right. I just wanna live in a fantasy. I think we deserve it right. Top all the memories I've ever made in my life. Permanent ecstasy. The ladies is pimps tonight. SEC Network Women's Basketball presented by Regions. What a night. Dressed like, like Kim Mulkey. Christy thomas Scuddy with her Madam Butterfly jacket and Red Panda in the building and nailing the multiple bowls. Eric and Christy. It's warm in the building. Too many layers for Christy, so she had to take the jacket off. It's there, though. I'm, hopefully it's not blinding you like it's blinding me right now. 8 nothing run to close out the first half for LSU. Missouri was on top. Missouri was hanging tough. A couple of their key players were playing with two fouls, but LSU did what they do best. They attacked the paint and started getting a lot of hoops there. Absolutely. This is an LSU team that averages 48 paint points a game already with 26. How they got it into their bigs. Morrow with the drop step post stop. The dump off to Angel Reese. Flyfay Johnson was so good off the bounce in that first half, creating for herself and her teammates. And sometimes it's just as easy as Find your big and let her go to work. Missouri 5 of 16 from outside the three-point line. Big part of their offense in the early going cooled off as the half went along. LSU still looking for their first three-pointer. Christy mentioned the paint points. Turnovers always going to be a big story when you're taking on LSU. Let's see how the second half unfolds. First possession of the quarter belongs to LSU. The set play by LSU coming out of the break. Well defended. Defended by Mizzou. Angel Reese hangs with it, and she'll go to the line. Angel Reese is now four of twelve from the free uh, from the field. Rather, she gets ready to step to the stripe here. That's the thing. If you're defending Angel Reese, the defense does not stop till you or your teammates get the ball. That means no fouling, and that definitely means trying to keep her off the glass. Reese played all 20 in the first half, as did Morrow, as did Johnson. One interesting note, six played for LSU. LSU had six blocks. Each player had one block. I thought there was some interesting plays defensively and some strong plays defensively by an LSU team. And Kim Mulkey has talked about it in the past weeks, about how this team isn't where they need to be defensively. Case in point, Missouri goes to work on the offense and gets points in the paint from Judd. That's just an example of how well Coach Mizzou is. You know they talked about that play at halftime. Each time there's been timeouts, they come out and they've executed. you got to steal points anytime you can, and that's what Mizzou is doing. Morrow can't get it. Reese has the offensive rebound. Reese steps inside for two. Angel Reese now with four offensive rebounds just by herself. Mizzou has got to do a better job of finding her when the shot goes up and keeping her off the glass. Linthicum. Slaughter. Back off for Linthicum, who gets her first points. Talented freshman, 1,000-point score, 1,000-point rebounder, playing at Jefferson City High School. Coming off her career best 20 points in 20 minutes against Kansas City. Johnson on the cut. Williams found her.
Frank and Dembele go down. Frank gets the look for three. Williams has the rebound. Williams. Robin Pynchon is out near half court here. The official wants to go to the to the monitor right now and review that because of the extracurricular activity mm -hmm. there between both Reese and Frank. So a foul has been called on Angel Reese. Pynchon was out beyond half court to get her point the across. The call foul is under review. They are going to the monitor here. Reese got up a little high on Frank. And then Frank's head hit Reese's knee. So we'll take a media timeout while they go to the monitor. Angel Reese said, I did nothing wrong here. You saw the first look. We'll take another look and we'll see what the officials say when we come back. Who's going to make that into a gift right now? Because that was not... She's flopping. What? Be so for real. That's why I love our coach. That's why I love Coach Mulkey. And even when we said a few games ago that she was signaling to Anissa, that's how she is. And she's willing to defend her team if she needs to. Like, did not follow her at all. <laughs> at all. When they say she get it from her mama I'ma say you got it right Body rude is unpolite Don't be in a humble type Tell me is you down Cause I'm trying to go up tonight Hoes and hoochies left and right I just wanna live in a fantasy I think we deserve it right Top of the memories I've ever made in my life Permanent ecstasy The ladies as pimps tonight Living inside a dream I slay where the love is like I put that on my own mama On my hood I look fly, I look good You can't touch my back, wish you could I look fly too good, put that on my own mama, on my hood I look fly, I look good You can't touch my back, but you could I look fly, I look too good Agree at all with the call after they went to the monitor. So it will be Frank that shoots the free throws. And when you say anybody on the Missouri team can take the free throws, it's going to be Haley Frank, who's number one in the SEC right now at 89%. Angel Reese still trying to plead her case to the officials right now. 
So Frank makes the free throws. Now will be Missouri basketball on the side. Triple down screen again for Haley Frank. Open for three. Big shot for Frank. That's a five-point swing for Mizzou due to that foul. Morrow on the turnaround for two. First points in the second half for Morrow. She's got 14. As much as we talk about Reese, it seems like when LSU needs a bucket, they get Morrow in the paint and feed her the ball. Let to come. Judd. Tough pass. Williams with the steal after the Missouri turnover. Williams for three. Eric, I told you at halftime, it's not if but when Michaela Williams gets going, and that's just a great example of just how prolific a score Michaela Williams is for this program. First three for LSU after going 0 for 6 in the first half, and then a turnover by Mizzou. Just a sloppy pass. Michaela Williams is there to shoot the gap, and she's just reading the defense the whole way down. That little hesitation behind the back just elevates to knock it down. That's batted out of bounds. I think you saw Williams had that three-point look at the end of the first half. Wide open look, didn't go down as she was coming off the court. Kim Mulkey, it looked like she was just saying, keep shooting. I mean, Michaela Williams is so dynamic, so talented offensively. The first thing Kim Mulkey is going to say is, keep going, keep shooting. Find that stroke. Score's got to shoot. And that's one thing Kim Mulkey has said to me. She goes, Michaela Williams can get her shot at any point. And apparently Slavre Johnson can as well. Johnson with 15. Reese with 15. Morrow with 14. Another turnover for Missouri. Johnson in transition to the basket. Count it and the foul. LSU's picked up their defense, forcing three turnovers. That's allowing them to get out in transition. And I have said it. Blage Johnson is at her best when she can get out in transition. But I stand corrected as well because she can also knock it down from deep. And Kim Mulkey, she knows it. Second 10 nothing run of the game for LSU. They had an 8 nothing run at the end of the half, scored the first two of the second half. That was the first 10 nothing run. Now they're on an 11-0 run after the three-point play is converted. And just like that, it's a 17-point LSU lead. And Eric, I have to tip my hat to Anissa Morrow's defense on Haley Frank. She's gotten a couple good looks, but the number of screens Mizzou is running Frank off, and for the most part, Morrow has been there. She's been the one talking to her teammates to get out and now get the steal. Morrow can't finish, and Van Lith can't control it. But just as you're talking about the job that Anissa Morrow is doing and denying Haley Frank, she gets the steal, and a timeout now called by Missouri. The crowd will tell you what's happening here at the PMAC. Their Tigers are up by 17. So far, big second half for LSU, stretching it out here in Baton Rouge.
on with a peppermint They say, ooh, she smell good That's just cause I'm heaven sent Sex game goes stupid Stepping like a toothpick Man, I tell the truth Your opinion is irrelevant But I, I know you think I'm fine Might be too fine to hit it from behind Reflection in the mirror don't decline I can't even lie, lie, lie I put that on my own mama Jose Johnson, active hands, and just takes it coast to coast. You see her the whole way, measuring, measuring, seeing what the defense is doing, and glides right by him for the kiss off the glass. I think in many ways that Blauge block, when she came back and got that block in the second quarter, that sparked a little something for LSU defensively because they've been getting the block shots. They've got seven steals as a team right now. They've made it very difficult on LSU. The uh, LSU Tigers made it difficult on Missouri, those Tigers. You know, I, look, <laughs> I wouldn't screw up the Tigers today. Out of the time, out by Missouri. It's a rebound for Van Lift off the miss. Well, the big part of this quarter already, nine points off turnovers for LSU. And somehow, some way, that made its way to Reese and the foul. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Blase Johnson was trying to hit Morrow. Passes off target and goes sails right by Morrow, but Reese is right <laughs> there. And Flash, I'm sure saying, "Yeah, that's what I meant to do." <laughs> this